Hi guys, it's Gareth here, AK Rookie, and welcome to the Doctor Who tag. Um, basically I saw a couple of my friends do this tag, so I thought I would um, do this as well. So let's run through the questions. Question one, who is your favourite Doctor? My favourite Doctor is got to be David Tennant. Um, basically, I used to watch Doctor Who when I was younger, and my the Doctor when I was growing up was Sylvester McCoy, who wasn't the best Doctor. And, and then basically and the new Doctor Who came on and I wasn't really interested in it. I thought, no, well, Doctor Who was ruined for me. And then David Tennant became the Doctor and I was actually staying, going to stay with friends in uh, Newcastle. And before we could go out for drinks, we had to watch Doctor Who. So I thought, okay. And straight away, I just actually kind of said, oh, this is really good, actually. I kind of like this. And then I decided, right, okay. I'm going to start watching Doctor Who. So David Tennant basically brought me back into the Doctor Who so series. So basically that's why he's my favourite Doctor. My favourite story. Now this is actually a Sylvester McCoy um, story, even though it just suddenly bad mouth on him then. Um, but it was actually the Merlin um, series, basically, when he, when the Doctor was Merlin. It was King Arthur and Camelot. Um, basically in modern day, they all come back to life with Morgana being the, the arch rival, the evil villain. Um, it's a really good series, really done with quite a lot of good story, and especially when Ace comes out of the water holding the Excalibur, which is a really good story because she's able to pull it from the stone. Which is you need to watch the series, you need to go and watch it. It's, re it's a really good, really good um, story storyline, and I really like it. Um, it's worth a view, and um, just just check it out. That's my favorite, and that's probably my favorite Doctor Who storyline. Uh, favorite companion, I just mentioned it, Ace, when I was growing up, um, basically that was my the companion that I first saw, and it's really the precursor to Rose and all the other companions that have come in, come in recent times, basically they're all kind of, because she was a fiery character, she was a very independent type character, she did a lot of, which is, you know, something that's not talked a lot about in Doctor Who, but Doctor, Doctor Who basically has companions who fulfil a role, and back then, Rose, uh, well sorry, Ace was basically a uh, almost like a naive but a naive warrior and was able to do the things the doctor wouldn't do until he got angry which if you watch that series you should see because you know but ace was my favorite fate was my, is my favorite companion of all time just basically plus who else takes on a dalek with a baseball bat come on come on you know how badass is that that's why so the next question uh First ever story watched. The first ever story I watched uh, was basically uh, the Gallifrey series, basically with Tom Baker. So basically, it was the actual first series where there was no companion in the Doctor Who story, uh, which was unusual at the time for to be a Doctor Who uh, story without a companion. Um, basically, Tom Baker insisted on having that storyline because he said that Doctor Who didn't need a companion, and it was a very, very good series, and that's what started me watching Doctor Who. Actually, obviously, though, though um, like I said. I got back into it because of David Tennant, but uh, that was the first ever uh, Doctor Who I saw was um, Tom Baker on the Gallifrey stage, which is the reason why I started watching Doctor Who. Um, favorite era? Mm. This is this is this is tough because I do like the Matt Smith era of Doctor Who because I think um, the companions he has there in um, Karen Gillan and uh, Arthur daily was it um they are it's really good companions and really really sets off but i think david tennant's era is also really good because david tennant's my favorite doctor it's kind of hard um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with um i'm gonna go with the david tennant area era because he's still kind of a mad doctor there. he's kind of still a bit angry but then he's very funny and quirky and can be very serious but I think David Tennant area because there's, there's quite a few interesting storylines that are brought in there with also with the master as well so yeah uh, favorite post regeneration story um ooh, ooh, um ooh, my favorite post regeneration story has got to be probably um yeah, it's probably when David Tennant came because it's the first one I saw. Um, well, yeah, this is actually the first one I actually saw, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't see the other generations, to be honest. It's the one that also got me back into Doctor Who, cause especially when he tells uh, Rose's mother to shut up, <laughs> which is which is which is really good. So yeah, it's probably that is probably my favourite story. Plus also that a cup of tea cures everything. Yeah, that's probably my favourite po po post generation post regeneration favourite Tardis. Now, my favourite Tardis is. Is 
Peter Davison Stardis. Um, the reason because it still has their own things. Plus two, two, it's still a white Tardis inside, which is really good. And three, it's still one of the Tardis you see the most of the actual inside of the Tardis. The first one they really explore the Tardis properly, and you see like the companions' rooms. There's there's so much in that. That's probably the best Tardis. And the last question on the list is um, favorite ba- monster slash baddie. Um, I won't gonna say the Daleks because the Daleks are kind of gone a bit wimpy. Doc seems to defeat them quite easily these days. Um, Cybermen have gone a bit weedy. They kind of turn into kind of pansies, really. Um, so my favourite bad guys are kind of new ones are the Weeping Angels. And the reason why the Weeping Angels are my favourite is because you can't blink. That a blink episode is one of the best. Plus also, the Weeping Angels have defeated the Doctor twice twice now in recent history they've defeated him once because basically the, the, in don't blink they obviously defeated him there to so send him back in time already so he's already been defeated though he does get the revenge back and defeats them but he did defeat them that first time and then the second time is at the end of the uh rory and amy story he basically defeats them there again you know though so he defeats them they eventually actually kind of defeat him because Rory and Amy get sent back in time so he so he d- technically gets defeated twice twice by the Weeping Angels so that's why they're my favorite bad guy um so guys this is the end of the video I hope you enjoyed uh, I tag every single one of you watching it to, to do this video you can post your responses below or you can make your own videos and just uh tweet them at me anyway guys as always have fun